Yes, guys, so Sunday, the sleep never stops, yeah? We're here, um, where are we? Lakeside, uh, Lakeside Farouk, uh, we're at the Ikea. You guys can see there. Um, and we're just basically getting everything into the whip scheme, yeah? Hey, Sharks, we're just, we're just riding. Yeah. It's just like riding. It's just like playing. Um, but as you can see, the van is depacked. <laughs> It is packed. So that is what we're doing. Heading off to Brighton, um, smashing out the, the full furnishing. So on this, we've we've charged 7K to the investors. Um, we potentially can be doing it for kind of three, three and a half potentially. Obviously with the time and efforts on, you know, all day yesterday, getting some stuff out the loft, you know, buying things in, in B&M, um, Ikea obviously, you know, picking this up on the way. Um, so, you know, you definitely have to put the time element in, but to add to kind of selling deals, obviously we're looking to, to add to the furnishing side of things as well. So not only can we source the deals, we can furnish them, we can manage them. So it's just giving, you know, investors that full kind of spec Spectrum, which they they like um so yeah we should make you know a nice decent three four four and a half thousand you know four or four and a half something like this um obviously split with our other furnishing contacts as well who helps us with deliveries etc um but you know just add to the portfolio and obviously you know taking on our, our own property at the minute um and, and going away in a few weeks as well so it's a nice kind of job to do now um get more experience i know we did seven road which is the three bed in in uh, coventry um but then also you know we've got a five bed four bar five bed four reception rooms in birmingham coming up which is massive so this is a nice kind of bn3 brighton and hove um or hove more more so um two bed obviously with the the sofa bed in the lounge as well um so excited to kind of get all this in there make it look super Superb, uh, and then get that first impression from the investor. So let's get it. Okay, guys. I know you're getting real busy in there, yeah. Real, real, real busy. Sweet, so we we trying to say to him. We've got tables in there. <laughs> got chairs in there. Yeah. They ain't got no sofa. In there, no guys. sofa, me. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Got it packed and ready. You know what I'm saying? So can't see out the back, but here he is. Wee! Let me see you man in there when you're all in there. Wee! Wee! So this guys is the unit that we're furnishing today. So this is literally next to a King's Cut, so it's called 85. It's a little apartment. There's one floor going upstairs, which isn't ours. We've got the ground one to the to the right. Um, but you can see it looks a decent sized building. Obviously, right on the um, right on the front as well. You got the town, you know, literally the city centre here. Um, obviously, it's being free, so it's not, you know, Brighton centre. But you see how affluent it is. You know, cars going down here all the time. It's really quiet in there, which is cool. And I'll show you guys the space. It's it's, it's like a really, um, you know, small kind of detailed apartment. Apartment, but we're going to really bring it to life. But you can see, look, you got a nice like calf right next to it. I mean, you got the pharmacy when it's open, and you got the fish and chip. You know, some, some nightlife to go to as well here. You know, some pubs, bars, etc. The cop just down the end of the road. So. Yeah, like, I want you guys to see what it's like. So, you know, this is day in the life of property investors, you know, driven down here. Got up at like, you know, 8, 8.39 a.m. On a, on, a, um, on a Sunday. Come out, um, you know, pack the car fully, little stop off at Ikea to get some extra beds, etc. Um, and then here we are. Come in, straight in, unload the car, furnish it fully. You know, you've got beds to put together, chairs to put together, etc. Um, and then obviously after that, we, you know, we should have a, a happy investor who's getting clients in uh, on a on a short term nightly stay. So um, yeah, keep you guys in the loop. And also, guys, just a little tip. Obviously, you know, it is definitely you know definitely to do before you take on the investment. Obviously, you know, we're you know we we've come down done the view and with with the. Uh, with the agency you know sold the deal direct to, to the investor um and obviously the investor's come down done his own due diligence etc um but we're you know we, we, we're here with the first time do a little recce of the road do a little recce of of the area um but it's looking really good so far another good thing to note guys as well we've also met our, our cleaner here or the investors cleaner but the guys that we're going to be working with directly uh, so it's good to see them in person get them to see the unit get a feel of it 
um, because obviously they're the ones who are going to need to, you know, keep it in check and, and keep it looking high quality throughout. Um, so, you know, we get them here, you know, you can get them on the first day, you can get them after it's fully done, kind of whatever, whatever you wish, but it's good to get, kind of get them in the door, uh, get them understanding the space, kind of negotiate price, etc. cetera. Um, what we've done for this Brighton unit is get more of a kind of family business. So instead of getting um, potentially, you know, one of the more sought after cleaning companies in the area, what we've done is got, um, like I said, a family, uh, family cleaning company who are going to be a little bit more flexible in regards to timings. Uh, and, you know, for a little unit like this, we want to start building out our portfolio and our investments portfolios uh, in, the, uh, in the Brighton area. It's definitely worth getting a very good link, building that rapport, building that relationship and then kind of taking it from there. But as you can see, you know, beautiful day, Sunday, let's get it. This is what it looks like, guys. You know, you've got your tables, they got us all everywhere, all over the road. Probably hate us, these people. <laughs> but no, yeah, you got your stand up, your stand up rail. You know, you've got a little TV stand, you've got your mattresses in here, you've got a TV, you've got a fold up bed, it's ball games for the guests. Um, pretty sure there's a few more bits in there as well. Obviously, you've got your dining table, IKEA beds, can't stress it enough, so easy. Look how it comes. Get that in there, get it up. And it's like, what, two, 250 quid, can't complain. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just very gassed to show you what it looks like after it's finito, because it is pucker in there. I wanna show you around as well. Before we put everything in, I'm gonna show you guys around, show you what it looks like. Um, but I can't go over this road, mate. Wow, what a place for an SA, by the way. Beautiful stuff. So a little update from my side, guys. We're in now, unloaded all the cars. Um, we've got the flat pack furniture everywhere, so it's a bit busy at the minute. Um, but I'll show you guys, walk you around, show you guys, you know, the layout, what it looks like. It's a two bed, but you know, it definitely has some um, some character to it, which is the main thing. So I'll show you guys about when you first come in. So you come in through this front door here. When you first walk in, you've got these small steps here, and you're into the bedroom number one. So we've just got the desk being put up at the minute. We've got double M and S mattress going in, um, and then yeah, quite. A, you know, decent little space outside as well. Uh, when you look out, you know, you, this is our all of us basically. So you can come out the back here, you can walk down here or out to the back of the garden as well. Uh, and then, you know, decent bit of privacy here being an apartment. It feels quite secluded, it feels quite quiet, um, which is which is awesome. Let's carry on moving through. And as you can see, we are ram packed. So I'll show you guys briefly, I know you've got your yeah, mirrors, uh, you got your table lined up there. Uh, got Harvey here. There he is. Come on, sir. Um, yeah. What are you saying? What are you saying? Do you like the space? It's my space, man. We've been out, being free down the high street. Look at this. You literally step out of the door. Nice little stairway. And I'm getting hair cut there. Yes, Probably sir. Tomorrow. Yeah, you need it. Yeah. Look there. at this, though. Yeah, when you walk down the high street. Wow. All of it happening, and this is like this right, right here. Just show you guys around this morning, just so you can see the updates and what we've been done. Just finished a call, got head off to IKEA in a minute, but this is kind of the little space at the minute. So, I mean, you've got the, the wall up, fresh up, um, you know, the, the mirror going here. So, this down, you know, little space here of the little seat, you know, laptop, really nice space, um, you know, making use of the potentially smaller space that we have. Um, and then this room looks really nice. So you've got, you know, your black um, little bedside table that we put together yesterday. We kind of put a theme on each room. So this one's kind of like brushed back, black and, and wood. Um, we're going to have like a nice bit of, well, we're actually going to mount the wall here in front of the bed because there's not enough space for that. Potentially move this a little bit away from the radiator, you know, have some um, wall art here. Uh, maybe something above the bed, obviously the headboard, etc. So this is, you know, this room's coming in nicely. Um, you've got a little space in there for, for storage. And then as you come up the stairs, you know, this is the, the main living space, but it's really coming on. I mean, the table here is in the perfect place. You've got the nice pop of colour above it. Um, you know, radiator here. So this is what we're getting today from Ikea, you know, sofa bed. There's some nice colourful cushions, maybe a little rug as well we're thinking about. And then here you've got like a nice um, standing mirror put this together yesterday, um, which looks nice. Mirror above here again, just to open up the room. And then the kitchen's really coming on there as well. I'll show you this room quickly. This is the main kind of first first bedroom as you walk in the door. So what we're thinking here is kind of a, a big kind of canvas here to open up the room potentially. Um, some plants coming over here. Show me about. 
Well, you forgot about the first little bit of the room. Yeah. Um, and then in here you've got your white, um, your white bedside table. We've got some pink wall art to go up here, and then the brushed white and pink mirror to go, you know, either above here or on, on that wall potentially. Uh, a TV again. So you see, it's, it's it is really taking shape, and we've got the themes in in each of the different rooms. Really nice outside space. You know, beautiful day in Brighton today. Um, but I mean, these desks. You think B and M fifty pound for these, and they just look they look pucker. I mean, they just little you know little desk there. You still have room for a, for a pull out pull out chair. Big double bed there. Comfy M and S mattress, um, which is kind of our specialty. Um, so yeah, but got a lot to do today. Purchase more things, accessories, Febreze plugs, you know, rugs, cushions, etc. Um, so we're going to take a trip to IKEA now, hour there, sort out the stuff, hour back, um, deck out the house for, for the rest of the day, uh, and then head back to uh, the base in Whittam, Essex later on. Let's get it! So we're going to start in the downstairs room today, guys. Show you a little bit about taking us all weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Now we're here. Um, Monday night, 11, well, 12 p.m., something like that, midnight. Um, just finishing up as much as we can, but I'll show you what it's looking like in a minute. So, as you'll see, this is really messy. <laughs> when you first come down the stairs to the bottom bedroom, obviously the TV's going on this wall over here. This mirror is going just here. So you've got nice mirror, nice green greenery, alarm clock, um, lamp, four new, brand new um, IKEA pillows, big black artwork here and with this room is kind of like a black theme so you got you know here you got your brushed black uh with your wooden kind of strips um and that's holding your clothes kind of neat way of doing the clothes um and it just comes together really nice i mean when you come and look at that you can see that um, you can imagine with the tv there the artwork up there and a mirror here that room is ready for spare room airbnb booking.com you name it that looks unbelievable hubby 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 this room you've got the table here the artworks up you got some nice flower ornaments in the middle a yellow armchair with the yellow lamp shade as well and then black and white on here and come across you've got a nice yellow throw um a couple of brand new pillows two seater sofa bed um yeah bang on again ikea bread was at 250 i think 300 um uh, but it looks bang on you got this to match the yellow so you see here we've got like a yellow 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 theme um and then you look at the tv stand you've got all the kind of games plants all the bits below it looks sick this mirror going up here Neat little kind of newspaper stand. Um, then you come up here. Still a little bit of work to do in here. You get your toothbrush, toothbrush there, etc. Uh, a couple of other bits. Bathroom. Then you come up here. Here we're gonna have this mirror horizontally. Got a brand new light shade, which looks bang on white and gold. And obviously this is the front door, so I'll show you the first bedroom as you go in. This isn't done yet, but it's going to be kind of um, pull out drawers for shoes, etc. Again, you've got your black and white hangers there, making use of the space. It's going to be pulled over right to the end. Then you've got your pink and white. This one's a pink and white theme, this room. Um, so you've got your pink and white mirror. Um, this isn't the artwork that's going to be in here. It's actually going to be this pink bicycle. So you've got the bicycle theme. Um, but this one's going to be pink. So we're just going to re kind of strip that, which is going to look hard again. Kind of this one's actually a golden black shade, but this shade is so hard. Look at that. Gosh. And then you've got your pink San Francisco, your white desk. So you've got your white and white and pink combo. And nice little bit of. Oh, right there, the TV's gonna go on there. You got your blackout blinds, pink pillows, black and white cover. So, like, if you look at it from kind of here, you're getting them pink vibes with the black, with the gold. With so, that is pretty impressed. So, this is BN3 uh, two bed apartment. Got it yesterday. Duplex apartment. Um, we're sold it as a deal. We are furnishing it, as we'll show you. Yeah. And uh, we are, we are then going to be managing it. So the full, the full service are coming, and uh, I'll show you around. The first thing you notice, 
yesterday. Yesterday, five o'clock yesterday. 36 hours. And we're at this point, so we've got a couple of bits of new mirrored on the wall. Horizontally. Um, yeah, frame up here. Vertically, um, yeah. This leads you into your first bedroom, but we'll, we'll save we'll that. Come back to that. We'll save that. We'll save it. We'll yeah. save you, we'll save you. I'll show you into the, the living, dining, supreme experience. Wow, wee! Okay, okay, um, okay. You threw up the before. Ding. Yeah, it's completely shell, uh, new sofa, new dining table, chairs, padded seats. So even, yeah, padded seats to match the sofas. Um, we try and do colour combinations as, as best we can. So you see, you know, the little dots of yellow, obviously yeah. the yellow accent chair, yellow lamp head, uh, yellow footstool, yellow cover, and then some nice bits of, you know, black and grey and white, um, just to show that, you know, cleanliness. And, and the carpet's already in good condition, which was good. Um, so it's just a matter of adding that, you know, soft and hard furnishings. But everything you see here has been built, has been put together. So yeah. we've got a nice, you know, IKEA, B&M. Uh, all very good shops to, to kind of, you know, look at as Smart well. Smart TV, streaming capabilities. Uh, we've got a sort of remotes for different things. We've got you know, Netflix, yeah, Netflix, Netflix everything you need. That's what we like to see. Mirror uh, on the wall. Mirror, yeah, a couple of bits to steal. A couple of books. Frosted glass. Forgot there. Frosted glass. Um, bits to clean, obviously. We'll clean you know, before, first guess of and this is how the layout is. If you look at it from this side as well, you see that you come down, you know, from the front door here, walk down, and then there's a bedroom downstairs, but there's also a bedroom straight in. So it's quite a cool, yeah. funky layout as well. Our kitchen, probably the least finished room, just because obviously it's the workman's room, but uh, yeah, we've got a pedal bin. Uh, got some nice it, necessities up. for a hammer. A lot of stuff in place. Mm, what a nice couple of bits to go in here, like decorate, you know, so you'll see that for SA experiments, so everything you'll need, uh, cups, bowls, mugs, plates, etc. Let's go here. Let's go here, yeah. And we also, you know, like to include, for example, we've got um, a blender machine, a toasty machine, things that you don't need, but uh, guests really, you know, appreciate if they are in in the unit. So the bathroom, um, still a bit to do. You can't be here. These are going to go up, so kind of in. These are bright and post bo postcards, aren't they? Yeah. So um, something, something a, a good good up. note as well. Something specific to the area is, yeah. is always good to include in the SA just to give that familiarisation. It's it's just some details. I mean, talking through right, the details. Right. Um, I mean, everything. It was completely unfurnished. It was a shelf, so we got it yesterday. And that's what it looks like today. A few um, nice colour combinations. Black and white pillows, black and white pillows, and a little bit of yellow footstool, yellow cover behind. Yeah, you've got the grey grey seat covers, you've got the nice plant bits, and you've got the yellow on the on the paintwork. Um it's just looking pretty neat in here. What are you thinking guys? Like it? Mirror. Nice. Yeah.